Health Break is brought to you by South Central Regional Medical Center. There are two types of strokes. There's what we call ischemic stroke, and then there's hemorrhagic strokes. Ischemic stroke is when an area of your brain is not receiving blood flow. So there's a small clot that has moved up from somewhere in your body and is now in a blood vessel in your brain. And an area of your brain is not getting blood flow, so we call that an ischemic stroke. The other type of stroke is called a hemorrhagic stroke. That's where you're actually bleeding into your brain, meaning a blood vessel for some reason has opened up and there's blood in the brain. And those typically are much worse than ischemic strokes. So there are a lot of signs and symptoms of a stroke. If you're having any difficulty speaking, if your speech is slurred, or if you're simply having problems getting your words out, meaning you have a thought that you wanna say and it's just not quite coming out, that could be a sign of a stroke. If one side of your body is weak, so your arm doesn't work or your leg doesn't work, that can certainly be a sign of a stroke. Or if one side of your body is numb, it just doesn't feel right. That, that could also be a sign of a stroke. Risk factors for stroke would be anyone with diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smokers. If anyone thinks that they're having a stroke, they should come to the emergency department right away. Time is of the essence. 911 typically is faster. The paramedics are trained to recognize strokes. They can come with lights and sirens, meaning they can legally drive you faster and safer to the emergency department. And they can let us know ahead of time so we can be prepared for this person that's coming in with a stroke. When we know ahead of time, then we already have a team ready and waiting for the patient to get there. And it just makes the process go faster. For more information, visit scrmc.com. For Health Break, I'm Katherine Farah. Health Break, a weekly community health program sponsored by South Central Regional Medical Center in Laurel.